Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm TJ, the creative behind TJ's Magic Touch. If you are new here, please drop a seed link down in the comments below so that I can say hi and welcome you to my channel. And if you are returning, please don't forget your sunflowers letting me know that you have been growing on this journey with me. Today's video, I will be showing you how to use a mock-up in Photoshop. The first thing we're going to do is show you where I purchased this mock-up from. I got this mock-up from Styled Product Mock-ups. It is a shop on Etsy that is filled with lots of mock-ups and even templates if you're interested in a template. However, I have always been a fan of making my own templates, especially since most designs are either circles or squares or rectangles. So here is the Eminem Minis mock-up tube. And as you can see, this is available in PSD and PNG, and you will receive both types of those files once you make this purchase. Okay, so we are going to jump right into this tutorial. In order to use a mock-up, you need to have your image flattened. So as you see here, the only thing you see under layers is the background layer. We are going to open up the Photoshop file. As you can see, there is also the five um, PNG files available there, but we will be using the Photoshop file so that you can see how simple it is to use a mock-up that is purchased, especially if you don't feel like making your own. So once you open up the Photoshop file, you will see all of the layers available to you in this template. You can turn off the background if you like and make it transparent. You can change the color of the tube by messing with the hues and the saturation. So you'll click on where it says change tube color. It opens up the hue and saturation and you can literally play with this template and make it any color, any to match any theme or design that you are working on. Okay, I'm gonna leave the two blue to match what we have in our design. So to add the design, we're gonna click in this little square where it says click icon to add art. That little square is a smart object. So with your smart object, another window will pop open. This is where you will place your image. So we're going to take our flattened design, which right here is why it says background. We're gonna click it and we're going to drag it to where it says image. Now, dragging it to where it says image because this is a smart object, whatever we do on this screen, once we click save, it will be on our mockup. So I like to set this kind of in the center and then I like to place it where I'll see a good piece of the design. Now my edges are out in order to fix that i'm gonna click Control t which is how you transform or stretch and i'm going to stretch the image out to where it covers up the white on the ends after i do that double click to make sure that it's in place i'm going to go to file and save once i save it i'll go back to my actual tube and you'll see the image inside of the tube. Hey. 
After clicking save, you can go back to the mockup template. You will see that the changes we made to the smart objects are now visible in the template. If you like the placement of the design, you can close out the smart objects or in this case it is labeled image. If you do not like the placement of your design, keep the tab open, make the adjustments until you're satisfied with it. This template allows you to add a background layer or you can use the one that they have provided for you. I personally like to make new files for listing photos because I don't like to save on top of templates. So file, create new, and then I'll choose the size of my listing photo. The size of the file that you create is based on the platform that you are uploading to. So if you want to utilize the most space, think about the platform that you're selling on. If you're selling on Instagram, marketplace etsy shopify any type of e-commerce site or social media make sure that you are using the proper photo dimensions for your listing photos after i set up a new photo i choose a background now for all of my personal photos that are on my etsy shop and on my website i have one particular background that i use because it is watermarked and it has everything that i need on it ready to go because i like to just streamline my workflow um, so that i'm not constantly doing the same thing over and over but for the purposes of this tutorial i'm going to use one of the free wooden backgrounds that i got from creative fabrica and after adding this background to the listing photo i'm going to make adjustments to it so that it covers the page after covering the page then you can go back to your mock-up You'll hide the background layer by clicking on the eye. And this time, instead of flattening the image, because that will give it another background, you want to merge the layers that are visible. Merging the layers that are visible allows you to have the image with a transparent background, basically giving you a PNG. Once you've done this step, you can now do the drag and drop method. So you will drag your PNG from your template onto your new file. Now, once you get it onto your new file, you make the adjustments. This is where you will add your watermark, your business logo, your website information, whatever it is that you need to add to your photo to get the information to your clients or your potential clients so that they know that this is a service that you offer. After you do this, make sure you go back to your mock-up I know this is a lot of steps but again it's my process and it works for me you want to make sure that your mock-up is back to its original state you don't want to save it like that because then you won't be able to edit it in the future so make sure it's back to its original state before you close it out now here's kind of a sample of what it will look like or what it could look like depending on what type of information you add to it that's all for this video if you made it this far thank you so so much don't forget to drop your hearts below letting me know that you got here i hope that you found this video helpful if you enjoyed it please make sure to like subscribe if you haven't done so already share because we know sharing is caring and i will see you on the next video